Hey, I am Kimbo and I blog out at GirlMcGlugan.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable, fun, wood signs. I have been seeing these all over my Facebook groups. Everybody's been making them, so I sat down, I made a whole bundle of cut files that fit perfectly on there, and then I'm going to show you where to get the wood rounds, the best stain, how to seal it, all of the embellishments, it's all there. Okay, the question that gets asked on repeat is where do you get the wood rounds to make these? Um, I'll show you where I've gotten. I've gotten a collection because I'm trying to figure out what the best option is. But so far, my favorite has been these from Lowe's. They have them at Home Depot as well. I looked online and I think prices vary depending on where you're at, but they were about a dollar cheaper at my Lowe's. So that's where I went. Um, and I did have to get them shipped to me. They had one in stock and then the other ones they had to, it took about a week and a half to get to me. So keep that in mind. Um, this one, this is what they look like when they come. They're made, I mean, they're made for DIY projects. They're made for tables or clocks or trays or whatever. So um, they stain really good. Um, this one is 18 inches, which I think is a perfect size for a front door. I think they also have a two foot one. And then this is the... I want to say 15 inches. I'll have to look up and make sure. I'll link them. But this is it. This is what it looks like stained, but it also looks really good painted. I did paint. So that one's got stain and then it has a stripe on it. So I really like these. I think these are the best. They're thick. They're a little bit heavier. So if you're worried about like trying to hang them from a ribbon, these might not be the best option. Like you'll have to secure them pretty well, like the ribbon can be decorative. I wouldn't necessarily hot glue a ribbon to this and hang it on my door and call it good. So they are a little bit heavier. Um, I also got this guy from Lowe. So this is the 12 inch one. We've got it painted. I just wanted to see how it's stained. So it's not nearly as heavy. Um, it's also, if you notice, these have a round, a round edge. This one has a it's a flat edge, so, and then they're not nearly as thick, but still, you still get the desired effect. Um, this and this are actually things that I have found in the Target dollar section. This one is a charger. If you notice, it has a Christmas tree on there, but, you know, throw a bow and some flowers and you'll never know that's Christmas. So I did stain this. It was a little bit lighter. This one is how it came. Um... It's just these woods blank signs. This, these were both $3 each. So good little option if you check out the Target dollar spot. What I love about them is that they're a lot thinner, so they're not nearly as heavy. So they're, they're hanging on your front door and you don't have to worry about them falling. Uh, this is Hobby Lobby. They had a couple um, circle things. They have this whole aisle of unfinished wood that is just screaming for projects. So I found this. And I just kind of love that it has the lip. It's got a little bit more, you can see it's got a, an edge to it. So I just like it and I thought it added a little bit extra. Uh, let's switch gears just really quickly and talk about paint and stain. Um, this paint is just, it's, I think it's espresso, but I wanted to show you, this is the same stain it's just on different wood. So keeping that in mind that the same kind of stain is gonna look different on all the different kinds of wood. Um, which, but I think stain across the board just looks really nice. So stain, you can also cover it completely with paint. Um, some of the wood, this is just left alone. I think this looks really nice, just natural. So you don't necessarily have to stain. You don't have to paint. I've seen a lot of fun stripes and blocks. I'm very specific. I knew what I wanted on these. I have all these post-it notes <laughs> that I have been sticking on these so I know how to paint them. So this one's going to say welcome and this is going to have friends down here, which is why I wanted the stripe because I want the welcome above, the stripe down below and it's a little bit lower so I have room up here for a bow. This one's going to say the West family. So I was very specific about how I painted them or stained them. Um, but like I said, you can just leave them. One big coat of stain, it looks beautiful. You can paint it. If you have a favorite color, you can paint it. I have one that's just all black and I'm gonna use white words on it with some fun greenery. I think that'll pop. So 
You can do whatever your heart's content with it. I think it all works. One thing to keep in mind though is, if you are staining, the stain is oily, which means if you're trying to apply vinyl to it, the vinyl is not gonna stick. It, it is so hard to get it off the transfer tape just because of the slickness to it. Like unless it cures for like a month or something ridiculous like that. So you can cover it with polycrylic, polycrylic, Poly, polycrylic. I think that's the one. So polyurethane yellows, but the poly, I'll link it. I can't remember what, exactly what it's called, but if you cover your board with it, the vinyl sticks just, it just makes life so much easier. So don't forget that step if you're planning on adding vinyl to these boards, which you should because it totally makes that pop. We are going to now talk about embellishments, which is my favorite part. Uh, what I love about these is that you can literally lay out all the supplies. You can give everybody, you can have a big craft day, give everybody the same materials and every sign's gonna look so different just because of all the different options that there are. Um, so what I personally just do is I lay everything out. I am very visual, so I have to see everything that I have. I get all my ribbon, I lay out all my flowers, all my florals, all my leaves all my fun embellishments and I just play around placement wise and lay it out and try to figure out what I like. So I'm gonna just kinda walk you through some of the fun options that I have just from crap that I have had around the house and then I've got, I got a couple things at Hobby Lobby and um, the dollar store, so I'll show you those. So um, bows, bows are so fun. Most everyone that I've seen a post on Facebook has a big, beautiful, giant bow. Um, I am not a huge bow expert. Like I can tell, I can tie a decent bow. They're okay, but I'm gonna link in the description um, the place where I just learned how to make the bow. She's really good at it, and she's got a couple fun different options. So I'll link that up. But I've I have found if you use wire, um, they hold their shape. They just look so much prettier. Wire is definitely a must. See how much prettier they are. And then um, you definitely want to get the bigger, thicker bows. So I, I grabbed some of this cute striped. It's got glitter in it. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. It's cute striped ribbon, um, but it's just so thin that it just kind of almost looks dinky on a big wood sign. Maybe if this sign was smaller. Same with this one. It was a cute plaid. I was trying to do a fall one, but I just don't love, I feel like the the bigger ribbon has more of a pizzazz. Um, so definitely throw in some ribbons. It fills the space. Oh my God, I got all this big mess. It fills the space really well. Um, another fun thing that you can do with ribbon is to, I have seen people lay it across and just glue it directly to their sign. I have some green right there. You could lay it across. Just make sure I would do this after you add your vinyl so you're not trying to add vinyl over the ribbon but it's a fun way to add just like a pop of color in there. You could do some stripes with ribbon, so that's another fun option. Um, this right here is actually, I don't think I have the tag anymore. I found it at Hobby Lobby. It's just supposed to be a giant garland. This is my leftover. I just snipped it off and tied it together, and then I actually thought with this one, I could, let me move it all down. I could use this as a hanger so I'm gonna glue this around the edge of this one just because I think it looks so cool. And then on another one, I'm going to use it, I'm gonna attach it to the sides and use it to hang it on the door. So for, the garland was $10, it was 40% off because it's a fall, it was in the fall section. So six bucks and I have two fun things that I can do with it. So love that option. Um, so depending on what season you're doing, Depending on what season you're doing, I just went down into my craft bins. I found these cute carrots. I mean, right now it's September, so you can't find Easter stuff, but I, of course, am a hoarder, and so I have all the things. So cute Easter. You could do fun carrots. This is just a ribbon. You could do a fun holly. You could get three red um, balls up here and make a giant holly up on that one. Um, hang 
This one, I just have everything laid out. Nothing's glued because I'm still playing around with placement, but I wanted a fall one that doesn't, it's not super fall. Fall colors, but not super fall because I always forget to swap out. So I love the sunflowers, just laid them out. I've ripped off the leaves and laid them down first. And then these are berries that I found in the Christmas section. These are also in the floral section. Um, I gotta show you this guy. He is one of my favorites. So this one is gonna be my Halloween one. But I found these. Hang on. I found these flowers. They're at the dollar store. They have eyeballs in them. They're glitter. They also have spiders. And I have just snipped them apart and laid them out. Um, I almost wish I would have done purple stripes. The black's kind of getting lost. So I might add a little bit of purple here and then I'm gonna add the fun vinyl right here. Maybe add a few pieces of ribbon coming out to tie this one together. But I just kind of thought, you know, everybody puts these big beautiful flowers on there. I just love the fact that these have eyeballs. Another fun thing that I found at the Dollar Tree is this crossbones. I thought, look how cute that would be up there, right? So um, Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree, I don't know if you guys have been there recently, they have really stepped up their crafters aisle. There is really good options there um, for embellishments. I have a really cute Happy Halloween sign that I'll have to go find and so I can show you. But um, they have some really cute options and so you can just purchase, same with that Hobby Lobby, you can purchase wood signs that are like they say fun words and you can just mount them right directly to them and then add your ribbon and your flowers or whatever. This one is my Christmas, or it will be my Christmas. One thing that I've seen that's really popular is people have done offsets. So they have a ribbon on one side and then they have the floral coming off the other side. We've got some berries that we're sticking in. Like I said, nothing's hot glued. I've been playing around with ribbon placement and then I'm gonna add Merry Christmas down here. So it doesn't necessarily have to be center. I always wanna center everything right above. You can go off, you can have flowers coming down to one side. And then I have to show you this, this one, and then we'll go, we'll sw switch gears to the vinyl. So this is actually a wreath. So it's a, it came with the eucalyptus and this wire. I found it at Oriental Trading. It's this one as well. They're at Oriental Trading, but I've seen them at all the craft stores. And I mean, you can t definitely DIY your own, but I was playing around with it and I love, I added the little pumpkin, I added the bow and I added the berries, but it just kind of frames, it matches that wood piece, like it sits in it, it just kind of frames it out and then I'm gonna add the vinyl. Oh, I'm going up too high. But I love that option. So think of adding, you know, just kind of think outside the box, adding a little bit more extras to it. Here, I'll show you what the flower one. I'm trying to keep them intact. Cause like I said, I haven't put anything together permanently. So there's that one. You can add a cute spring with it and add a big ribbon to hang it up on your door. I also grabbed a giant sunflower. Go big or go home, right? Um, also, if you're looking for, like if you're making these with the friends, it actually is a lot cheaper, in my opinion, to buy like a garland. If you catch them on sale or use your coupon, if you buy a garland and then you can just snip off, and like this is just half of a garland, and I could probably get two pretty full wreaths or you know, embellishments out of it. So if you're doing a craft day, that might be a little bit of a cheaper option is to grab a garland instead of just the floral picks. But I've got all my vinyl cut out. I cut it out on my Silhouette Cameo 4. Um, I have a 3 and a 4. I love them both. This also works with the Cricut. All the cut files that um, are in the bundle can be cut with a Cricut and a Silhouette. Um, but what I am using for vinyl is everything is from Expressions Vinyl. They have the best. Look. 
There's their logo expressions. So um, I have a couple glitters. These are glitter. If you can see a little bit, see my test cut to make sure my cut settings are right. This one is actually a stencil. I'm going to, I wanted on this one, I wanted the letters to be in the stain. I'm gonna paint everything else white. So this one's gonna be a stencil for this one. And then everything else. Um, I know I get asked a lot whether permanent or adhesive. Realistically, it's just whatever color um, works the best. So I actually have both here. My porch is a covered porch. It doesn't see a lot of wear and tear. So in my opinion, I think both work. The only time I really use permanent over removable is if I'm putting it on a cup that I'm going to put in the dishwasher or if I'm putting it on like a car decal. Either way, um, as a blogger, <laughs> I actually prefer adhesive because, or not adhesive, removable because it's got a matte finish. I like the matte finish. It photographs a little bit better than the shiny finish. That's basically how I, you know, make my decisions. So I have them all cut out and I am just going to find my weeding tool. I love this weeding tool. It's from Caesar, you can also get it from Expressions Vinyl, but it's just really heavy duty. I love it. And then I am just, I've trimmed off, so some of these aren't even cut. And I'm just going to weed away the part that isn't going on the boards. So I'm not gonna make you watch me weed them all, but um, before I attach anything, I like to lay it out and make sure, like I like to put my vinyl on first and then kind of arrange. I usually just hot glue everything on. Um, you can zip tie things to each other as well, but I just like to have this on and then I can move this stuff around to kind of fit in with the flow. So I have it laid out here and then I'm just going to attach my transfer tape. See, here's my Merry Christmas one. I've got my vinyl ready to go. This is all just set on top so I can make sure that when I get in there and place the ribbon, that the ribbon goes around and doesn't cover up the words too much. So I've got my transfer tape. This is also from Expressions Vinyl. I'm almost done with this roll. Look, it's... I buy these rolls the biggest that they have because I use them all. I love them. I don't have my spooky tool though. I usually have my squeegee tool but I don't have it on me. I did spray this with a clear um, top coat of spray paint. So I'm going to see if this will work versus the polyacrylic. Peel off that backing. This is where I want this part in. So I want to make sure that I'm not changing those. sealant spray paint is really easy so I'll link that up well I, I think I like that better because it's quick and easy and dries real quick lost my dot those are always the trickiest
And now I can attach my greenery, my ribbon, pumpkin, make it look nice. I am literally just hot gluing in place, filling up any voids or gaps. You just snip off, you kind of just add in where you need to. I almost forgot to tell you, um, to hang them up on your door, you can get a heavy duty command hook or any kind of um, picture hanger. You can attach them right to the back. If you want a pretty ribbon look, I just hot glued on the sides right here. Try to lay it flat, just a pretty ribbon so it can hang. A little bit of a decorative touch. Um, also, in the Facebook pages, people have said that when you're shutting the doors, they slam against the door. So you can just get, there is blue poster putty that I have found at Walmart. You can just get a bunch of that, and stick it on the back and stick it to the door. Or you can get one of these command hooks. Let's see if it'll focus on it. It's one of those gripper ones. You put two together and then you can just stick it directly to the door and to your board and it'll just keep it in place and keep it from sliding everywhere. So this Hello Pumpkin is one of my favorites. It's perfect for fall. I mean, you could put it up from September till Thanksgiving. Easy, easy. Not that I'm ready for Christmas, but I am ready to hang up this cute sign. I love how it turned out. This is glitter vinyl, which is so cute. You can't really tell in the video, but you can tell in real life. I also thought you could make a round and kind of make it look like a Christmas ornament. That would be so cute hanging on your front door too. This one's another favorite. Um, the cup file is actually the family and established and then you can just pick a nice block font to add in your own family name and then of course, you know, fancy this part up up here. Alright, hopefully that answered all your questions. I will try to remember everything that I've talked about and link it up down below. I'll have a blog post also on my website if you want to check that out to answer any other questions that you might have and to get all the cup files. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel.